Hello, Nathan Swain. I'm a resident of the North End. I've lived here 13 years. Some of, it, some of you may know me through my artwork. And um, I've cared about the North End. Um, I'm trying to beautify it. Um, watch the process of the big dig happen, which was pretty amazing. Uh, I took photographs of the whole process of the demolition of the highway. I intend to actually do a photo book in the future. Um, but now the president of this um, group of citizens, um, residents, and, uh, to beautify the two parcels on the Greenway um, above and beyond the level they are now. Um, the, the parks are a, a much greater improvement to the highway that was there. Uh, but in terms of horticulture and beauty, it could be a lot, there's a lot of potential to be had. That could, uh, we could all have with better plants and flowers. Uh, so uh, a group of residents and citizens are joining this effort to try and up the uh, up the flowers and plants and, and everything on those parcels um, make, make them world-class gardens. Uh, if you go along the Greenway, you'll notice down towards South Station and uh, um, Intercontinental, there's some gardens down there that actually are in really good condition in terms of flowers and plants and horticulture. Um, and, um, Diane and uh, Joe actually helped plant those flowers. They were, they were the uh, mass horticultural parcels. Um, and that's sort of the level of horticulture and beauty that we're sort of looking, looking for, or even, even more. Um, we've talked to some horticulturalists, uh, uh, world-renowned horticulturalists, uh, Adrian Blumen and others, um, and they're actually willing to, to work with us in helping make the parks better. Um, and it's, it's, it's exciting. We've, we've talked to the mayor, and we've talked to the Greenway Conservancy, and they're, with, uh, they're excited and willing to work with us. And uh, yeah, I'd like to introduce Diane and um, talk more about this. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us back. We've made a lot of progress. And um, I was the owner of Harbor Greenery down on the waterfront for 22 years, so I feel like I grew up here and my daughter grew up here. And I was the chair with Joe Kunkel for the Greenway Gardens down by South Station. And I do a lot of community work, and I'm drawn now to urban horticulture. Joe and I chaired these gardens that are down by the Intercontinental Hotel. And we planted them with 300 volunteers, Mass Horticultural Society. And it was a wonderful experience. We raised money and we raised plants, and it didn't cost the city, the Greenway, or the state any money to do these beautiful gardens. And I encourage you to go down and take a look at what the difference is. And we, have, we planted trees and shrubs and perennials, and it's six acres, and it's really um, a lovely part of the Greenway. So the North End Parks were planted by the Department of Transportation, and um, these are what are, we call highway plantings. They're very hardy, they're pretty much the same color green, and pretty uninteresting. And you have pretty um, straight lines. You've got some parcels with just the grass and the trees, but you're sort of missing the in-between, which is the um, interesting horticulture of perennials. And the plants do not have uh, four seasons color. You get a burst of color and then they die back and then it's fairly uninteresting. And it hasn't been changed since it was planted. But this is what Joe and I did down on parcel 19. And it's a completely different experience. And we'd like you in the North End as residents to have this as world-class gardens on parcel 8 and 10. And it is possible to do this. The Greenway neighbors do have color. Um, these are all the planters that were around um, the Greenway at the same time. So we're not asking to do something that's really difficult, and we know that it's possible. At the Prudential Center, they have a parcel about the same size as these North End Parks, 
and they have very interesting horticulture and they um, do it quite well and they use it a lot because there's something to go look at and see when you go there. In New York, we're competing to be a world-class city and Bryant Park in New York and all the parks for a matter of fact, um, Mayor Bloomberg has been terrific in adding a beautiful level of horticulture in New York City. Chicago is another world-class city that has been known now for great horticulture, and we'd like to be at that same level. In Singapore, they just created a, the newest world-class garden, and this is what we're talking about, world-class garden. You hear the words on the greenway, but we don't see the words matching with the horticulture. And in Singapore, they've created a new term, ecotourism. They generate revenue while improving the quality of life, which means that people will actually come from near and far to come see these gardens, while at the same time, the residents and the workers have an improved quality of life. So we have worked with Adrian Bloom. I'll pass around this um, brochure of Adrian's work. He is a London-based horticulturist. He's world known, and he actually paints with plants. He does remarkable work. He has great books that he's published on it, and he does a whole line of plants called Bressingham's Best. And he was here in July. And this is his vision for world-class gardens. And he is willing to work with us. And I hope that you also agree that this is the kind of gardens that we'd like to see here in the heart of the city. So we're committed to world-class gardens. And we'd like to work with Adrian Bloom and the Perennial Plant Association, which Joe and I worked with on the other parcels. And Joe Conkle uh, will work with us to help us build this and engage volunteers. And I'd like to introduce you to Joe Conkle. on a horticultural background. I, uh, I owned a nursery in Kentucky for about 20 years. I'm the past president of the uh, Perennial Plant Association. Uh, I actually spent uh, oh, about 10 years working with a man, uh, Diane mentioned, Adrian Bloom. We planted a number of display gardens around the United States. Uh, Ranging from one, we have one in uh, California, we have one in Long Island, one in Ohio State University, one in uh, Kentucky, and one here in Massachusetts. This particular project uh, we're looking at here is the Bressingham Garden out in Elm Bank in Wellesley. We've got almost a one acre garden. It was planted with uh, about 7,000 plants, or maybe 150 volunteers. People came out and uh, Adrian would lay the plants out and people would chase behind them with a bunch of shovels and, and, and put them in the ground. Uh, but also, when we do these projects, we leave the project with a friends group, a group that's willing to take responsibility for the maintenance on a day-to-day -day basis after the garden is planted. Uh, planting the garden is easy. It's taken care of and it requires the work. Uh, we also had an opportunity in July to uh, spend a day actually with Adrian Bloom and other members of the Perennial Plant Association and we walked the Greenway uh, to get their ideas on what they thought could be done, what it is they saw that they liked and what it is they maybe didn't like and what it is they thought could be done. And, uh, to a person, everybody agrees that the North End parks have tremendous potential. They like the water, they like the way the grass is, they like the, the pergolas can be worked with, etc., etc. But the plantings themselves are uh, lacked. And the best analogy I can think of is would be to take uh, to take the North End and say, okay, we don't need all these restaurants and everything. We just put in a couple of olive gardens, one here and one down there, and that's kind of okay. That's kind of all we need. And that's the way the horticulture is up there. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of okay, maybe that's all we need. But well, we could have, you know, 100, 100 just wonderful restaurants to choose from. And that's what we'd like to give you in the off end up here, in the off end process. Uh, any place I've worked anywhere in the country, uh, it, it's the, the least problem we've had is volunteers. Uh, usually we have too many volunteers, so you kind of have to, you know, keep from tripping over each other, which is a wonderful problem to have. 
uh, the underlying passion we got from the general public is just amazing. You know, it's, it's like that any, any place I've gone throughout the United States. And uh, that includes the Greenway Gardens here in Boston. We had literally hundreds of volunteers come out and plant those parcels down by South Station. So, Diane, turn it back to you. Um, so we're willing to work with everybody that would like to participate. The friends of the Christopher Columbus Park have said that they would like to come out and help us. And we've met with a lot of other people in the neighborhood that want to participate. So this is sort of our timeline. In July, we met with the Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Greenway Conservancy. And we're trying to determine what bulbs and what plants that they have and what they have planned going forward so that we can determine how we can collaborate with them. Joe is talking to some of the top bulb growers in the United States because on the other parcels we planted 10,000 daffodils and um, it would be very nice if the North End had some very beautiful spring color also. And then once we figure out a plan, we'll do some fundraising. We have a wine tasting scheduled that we'd like to do. We're looking for a location so we can invite you to come do a tour of the Greenway Parks with us and then we will have a wine tasting and do a presentation of some of the things that we'd like to see there. We want to collaborate with the community and with the conservancy and just beautify the area. The bones of the gardens are there but we're looking to add the perennials on them. And then we'll have some cleanup days and we will um, continue to do some fundraising and some friend raising. And then hopefully by the spring we'll have something very interesting to look at. So this July we've made a lot of progress. We have the support of Mayor Menino, thanks to our committee, Nate and um, Ann and Nancy Caruso went to see the mayor and he thinks it's a great idea, it's a win-win. And we've met with the Rose Fitzgerald Kennedy Executive Director, Nancy Brennan, who said that she's willing to work with us and expedite this. And we introduced ourselves to the um, Leadership Council and the board at this month's meeting at the Conservancy. So we brought you some lavender plants here. Um, it's an experiment. Each one of you, please take them. Use it as an experiment to see if you like having a plant in your life. <laughs> Notice how it changes your experiment, whether it be you walk in the kitchen and you smell it and how it is. And then imagine what two huge city parcels would be like if you could have the experience of walking in it and actually having an opportunity to integrate, integrate with nature. So we have some um, brochures here for you. I hope that you will become a member of the Friends of the North End Parks. We have a very energetic group. We are inclusive. Um, when Joe and I did the parcels at the other end of the Greenway, we had volunteers that came from Maine, they came from Cape Cod, they came from the Berkshires. And part of it is because people love Boston, and you're lucky enough that you actually live here. And we found that when the residents came, they had an incredible sense of ownership. That when somebody planted a heliophore, which is a Christmas rose, that's one of the first blooming plants on the Greenway, they actually felt like that was their plant. And they had a real ownership of this space. And we'd like you to have that kind of experience and hope that you support this idea so that we can work with you and help you have the world-class gardens that we all thought that we would have. And we know that it's quite possible. So thank you for letting us be here. Please take a lavender plant. Please take a brochure. Um, and meet with any of us. Um, we're, we are more than interested in any of your questions, and we'd like to work with you and have you join us. Thank you.